This is 29 Acacia Road, and this is Eric, the schoolboy who leads an amazing double life. For when Eric eats a banana, an amazing transformation occurs. Eric is Banana Man, ever alert for the call to action. Oh, Banana Man. Everyone's favourite superhero fool. Originally a comic strip in UK-based comic production Nutty, and later appearing in The Dandy and Beano, with artwork by the late, great John Gearin, this character just oozes British 80s. It only took three years for Banana Man to be made into a cartoon. No wonder really, as it poked fun of almost every superhero in an almost British Monty Python-esque fashion. We follow Eric Wimp, an ordinary schoolboy who has a secret power. As the intro goes, when Eric eats a banana, he transforms into Banana Man. An over-muscly fellow in a blue suit with bananas for a hat and socks. Oh, and his cape is a banana skin too. He gains the power of 20 snowmen, or 20 men, big men. Banana Man, whilst a fully grown superhuman man, is often a little stupid. He forgets how to fly or even open doors. Although super strong and massive, Banana Man is still the childish Eric inside. Our main antagonist in the cartoon series is General Blight. A slight nod to Adolf Hitler, but they really tone this down for the cartoon. He just ends up being a stupid villain with big plans in the end. After watching quite a few episodes, they only run for five minutes or so, it's apparent that Banana Man's psychic, Crow, an actual Crow, is the brains of the outfit, subtly leading Banana Man along the right path. Later in the series we see characters such as Chief O'Reilly, a policeman who operates out of a giant policeman's hat, He assumes Eric is Banana Man's sidekick and often asks Eric to talk to Banana Man for him, a la Peter Parker. It really is a great display of British humour, artwork and nonsense. If you want intelligent storyline or even a show that takes any part of life serious, then I suggest you look elsewhere. Banana Man is as bonkers as it sounds, and honestly it explains a lot. No wonder British people of my generation are as dippy as shit. I'm giving Banana Man a 3 out of 5 for awesome artwork and some of the best voiceover accents available in any cartoon. You can watch all of Banana Man on YouTube. It ran for 3 series and somebody's uploaded them all into one 1 hour video. So go and treat yourself. It is actually pretty good and it made me laugh loads. So thanks for listening. If you like this, then subscribe to the podcast on iTunes or any podcast app. You can get us on uh, Twitter at jump underscore cancel. We're on Facebook as jump cancel. Uh, You can shout at the moon because he knows where we are. Uh, I've actually started a Patreon. If you fancy donating some money to this podcast because it's starting to cost um, me money to host, which I'm not too happy about, but I'm going to keep on doing it. So uh, I'm going to be totally honest. That's costing me $15 a month. Uh, It'd be nice if I can recoup that through donations. But if you don't want to donate, don't worry about it. I'm not hiding anything behind a paywall. Um, I might in the future... Perhaps, I don't know, put the episodes up on Patreon early if you want to donate or whatever. And I might do a few written reviews. Um, I've been playing a lot of Game Boy games recently, so I might do that. But, yeah, whatever. If you don't want to, don't worry about it. I'm not too fussed. I'm happy to pay for it to keep everybody listening to the show. Um, I've managed to cobble this together. I'm in south of France at the moment, so I've come down to the basement of the villa which is why it sounds so echoey. And actually, with the echo, it might actually sound pretty good. I don't know. might sound shit. But yeah. Cheers, guys. Love you all.